Breast pain for health workers. Breast pain is commonly caused by one of three problems in a breastfeeding mother. This video will show how to evaluate and treat these three conditions. Engorgement, blocked ducts, and breast infections. Breasts that are too full of milk are engorged. This often happens when the milk first comes in a few days after birth. It also happens if the baby hasn't been feeding often enough or is not well attached and doesn't empty the breast. Both breasts will feel very full, hard and tender. First, observe whether the baby is well attached. If not, help the mother to learn to attach the baby better. Then, explain to the mother how to reduce breast engorgement. Here are six suggestions. First, just before she breastfeeds, the mother can put warm, wet, clean cloths on her breast for a few minutes to help the milk flow. Second, gentle breast massage is also helpful. Move fingers in circular motions around the breast. Third, she can hand express a small amount of milk to make it easier for her baby to attach. Fourth, she should breastfeed often, at least every one to two hours. The first breast should be emptied before offering the other breast to the baby. Fifth, repositioning her baby allows all parts of the breast to empty. And last, she can express milk after a feed until her breast feels softer and more comfortable. Engorged breasts that are not emptied can become infected. Help make the breast more comfortable after breastfeeding by putting a cold cloth on both breasts for five to 10 minutes. A blocked milk duct will feel like a firm, tender lump in one part of a breast. The mother will have no fever and feel well. This can happen when the milk is not draining well. For example, if her baby is poorly attached or from pressing on her breast during feedings. Observe the mother breastfeeding and help her to attach her baby more deeply if needed. The baby must drink well to drain the breast. Here are four suggestions to relieve a blocked duct. First, recommend she feed her baby frequently, every one to two hours and whenever the baby is hungry. Have her give the sore breast first. If she cannot breastfeed, it's important to remove the milk frequently. Second, a warm, wet cloth on the affected breast before feeding can help the flow of milk. Third, as the baby feeds, have the mother gently and steadily compress the area of the blocked duct. The baby helps by drawing on the breast, and the mother helps by compressing. And last, to help move the blockage out, she can also massage that side during breastfeeding using the fingers in a circular motion from the armpit to the nipple. The blockage should start to resolve with a couple of good feeds and disappear in a day or two. If she doesn't take care of a blocked duct, it can progress to a breast infection. The lump will become red, hot, swollen and painful, and she'll feel ill, often with a fever. If she has a very painful, swollen lump, it may be an abscess and would need to be drained by a skilled clinician. 
and caring for a breast infection, be sure the baby is attaching deeply, then follow the four steps suggested for a blocked duct. First, breastfeed frequently, starting on the infected side. The milk is safe for the baby. Second, apply a warm, wet cloth. Third, gently compress the breast. And last, massage the breast gently. Remember, the area is tender to touch. In a breast infection, the milk is not infected, only the breast tissue. It's still good for the baby. She needs to keep the milk flowing in the infected breast by feeding the baby or expressing milk frequently. If the mother is HIV infected though, she should feed only from the healthy breast, not from the infected breast. She can express and discard milk from the infected breast until her fever is gone. The baby can then take both breasts again. Give the mother an antibiotic, such as dicloxacillin. She can take paracetamol for the pain and fever. Advise her to return if there is no improvement after one day of treatment. If she has a breast infection, she is ill. She shouldn't work. She should stay in bed, drink plenty of fluids, and keep her baby with her to feed often. Remember, when breasts are engorged, both will feel very full, hard, and tender. A tender lump in one breast is likely a blocked duct. If she also feels ill, she may have a breast infection. For all problems, be sure the baby is well attached and keep the milk flowing. Feed the baby or remove milk every one to two hours. <laughs>